I'm very happy for two reasons today. One is the only thing I love more than Korean cinema is the band Queen. I want to congratulate the whole band, the remaining members, and Rami Malek for doing such a fantastic job playing Freddie Mercury and winning basically every award there is to win. But the real reason I'm incredibly happy is because the movie Burning from South Korea won Best Foreign Film at the Academy of what? what? Roma? Hmm. When was the last time South Korea won an Academy Award? What? If you like Korean films, you know just where to go. This is Korean Cinegeek, and welcome to my show. When the Academy Award nominations came out, I posted this video to my Instagram. Korea has submitted 29 films to be considered for Best Foreign Film at the Academy Awards. And not only have they never won, They've never been nominated for the top five. And until this year for the movie Burning, they hadn't even made the short list. I'm beside myself. I don't know why this is happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you four films, the last four films that were up for best foreign film that were not nominated and did not win. But before we get into that, I'm hoping that you will subscribe to my channel and that you will watch and share these videos because there are a lot of people who love Korean films that would love to be here and join this community. There are also lots of people who will love Korean films, but either they have trepidation or they've heard myths and stereotypes and you can bring them here along with you and then we'll build the community even bigger. So thank you for subscribing to Korean Cine Geek. Now, let's get to the first film that we're going to talk about. She's okay. She's just tired. The Throne is a 2015 film. It was the official submission from Korea to the Academy Awards that year. And it stars my current generation's Korean national treasure, Song Kang Ho. And that's obvious because three of the four films I'm talking about star Song Kang Ho. Now, two of the films of the four that we're going to talk about star Yu Ah In, The Throne and Burning. He is the current generation's Korean national treasure. The plot of the throne is pretty simple, at least at first. The king, who is superstitious and paranoid and cold, puts his son in a rice box, which is a wooden box, in order to die because the son supposedly was going to commit treason and kill the king. The main question for this film is, how did they get to this point? And the movie answers that by going back and forth in time in a very clever way, even using crossfades like this one. And you slowly start to understand how things got so bad. And what's interesting is both characters, the king and his son, the crown prince, are both really bad sometimes. They're very entitled and it's hard sometimes to like them. But that's what I love about Korean films. You gotta make the characters compelling and that's what they do in this movie. I wish I could show you more of the film, but I don't wanna be a spoiler. Let me just say that it is worth watching and it is on Netflix as we speak. In 2015, the one that won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film was a movie called Son of Saul, an excellent film from Hungary. I'm not dissing the film, but I want to point out that it was the eighth nomination for Hungary and it was its second win. Hungary, eight nominations, two wins, South Korea, one short list, 29 losses. And here's a random clip from my favorite movie, Oh Boy!
I'd like to get back to the throne to show you one more scene that really gets to me. So this is a true story, by the way. I would check it out. The prince stayed in that rice box for eight days. Spoiler alert! And he died on the eighth day. Now, when he gets to day three, without any water, he starts to hallucinate. And it looks like this. I don't want to interrupt too much, but if you don't like bugs, you're not going to like this scene. Look at... Mm. It's amazing how the director pulled this in to make conflict even within that box. Age of Shadows was the 2016 submission to the Academy Awards, and we all know how that turned out. This is a movie that takes place in the 1930s during the Japanese occupation of Korea, and it stars a powerhouse trio, and I mean powerhouse. First, we have Song Kang Ho, national treasure, as I said. He plays a police officer who works for the Japanese, turning against his own people for personal gain. Then we have Yu Gong, who plays one of the resistance members fighting against Japan, who wants to smuggle explosives into Japan to cause chaos and havoc. Lee has a cameo as the head of the resistance, but his presence is felt through the entire film because he is a force. The Age of Shadows has everything, from its acting to its lush, lush cinematography, to the editing, scoring, costume design, production design. This film is tailor-made to be at least nominated for Best Foreign Film at the Academy Awards. Now in 2016, the movie The Salesman, which is a movie from Iran, won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. Personally, I have some issues with the film, but I'm not here to diss it because it is a good film. But Germany was nominated twice. One of them was a co-production with Denmark. And you have to ask yourself, why? What is the Academy thinking? Ladies and gentlemen and everyone else, seems like I have a lot more to say about the Oscars than I originally thought. So I'm splitting this into two videos where we'll discuss a taxi driver and burning. I want to really thank you all for sticking through this. It's been a lot of fun. This is peach soju. I poured this for my mother who passed away a while ago. I know that in etiquette in South Korea, you always pour the drink for someone else. So I pour one for my mom who loves rabbits and I'm going to drink it for her. While we do that, I'm going to show you a clip. It's random, but it's Park Young Min, who is a very strong up and coming actor. And in this movie, we'll watch him rap. Let's get it. DJ drop the beat. Whoa. When I got my pro, do so do do that well. My decision to to the five, even six. The mom took it also, come on, tell me no peace. Told the auntie when they real recognize real. Give it a shin job and gun gap bonage. Saddle jar and go and no more cook gaba. They could have said cook in and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do so team. 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 I need no role model than a rapper, but I got me doing that. I got a chillin'. 